dollar hi hello fun and welcome back to my fallout 4 mod spotlight series where today we are having a look at the more bandanas mod which is being made by user flixed tershi and what this glorious little piece of fork looks to add into the game is well more bandanas for you to wear i mean it's kind of all right there in the name but how many wonderful new bandanas do you get oh boy a lot of them and apparently the mod maker is not done yet on the mod page it states clearly that they plan on adding more and uh yeah that's that's a lot of bandanas but it is a great fun little mod for you to help make your characters companions or even settlers look exactly how you're wanting to make them look as yeah, because these are purely aesthetic items now, I normally don't look at just aesthetic items, as I do like them to typically have some form of stats, but I don't know. I kind of I kind of like the idea of a whole load of different colorful bandanas for you to make your people look how you want them to look. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. And with the large amount of variety here, you, you have a lot of options. Now, as for how you get your hands on one of these uh, lovely bandanas... Well, it's pretty simple. You just need to go to any chemistry station in the world where you'll find a new More Bandanas category. And as you can see here, we've got a lot of different bandanas. Everything from newly added in ones, retextured ones, and even some fun jabs at Bethesda, such as the canvas uh, bandana that you have right here. Good times, good times. Well, let's actually quickly go through all the different ones we do have here and show them off and start with, of course, the Acid Plaid. Then after that, there's the Autumn Plaid, a Black and White Buffalo Plaid, Black and White Plaid, Blue Buffalo Plaid, Blue Skulls, the aforementioned Canvas, a Deathclaw Bandana, another good one there, denim bandana a galaxy one a green buffalo plaid green plaid just a green skull there jewel plaid light blue mint green old school prep plaid orange bandana an orange buffalo plaid pink bandana pink buffalo plaid pink camo Pink Galaxy, Pink Plaid, Purple Bandana, Purple Buffalo Plaid, Purple Camo, Purple Galaxy Bandana there, a Purple Plaid Bandana, Purple Skull, that's a fun one there, a Raider Camo if you're going for more red motif, the Red Buffalo Plaid, the Suit Scraps Bandana, Vintage Plaid Bandana, and finally, the yellow buffalo plaid bandana. We've got a lot of them in here, so you really shouldn't have too hard of a time finding one that fits your particular design choices. And no matter which one you do go with, they are going to cost you just a single cloth and one oil. Now, as for stats, as I said earlier, they are purely aesthetic, so the only stat really worth mentioning is the weight at point one. So it's not going to take up a lot of space, but equally, it's not going to offer you anything more than just aesthetics. And we'll even go over here real quickly to the armor workbench, despite the fact I'm now realizing I am not wearing one of these on my character. Oh, that's an oversight on my part. If we go to the armor workbench, though, you can see we do not have the bandana that I just did grab. So there is no modifications. You just have a fun uh, bandana for you to wear to look however you want to look. And in this day and age, it also isn't the uh, strangest thing to have a world full of people wearing bandanas. That's the world we now live in, it seems. So yes, if you'd like to check this mod out for yourself, which I'd certainly recommend you go and do, uh, you can take a look at the link in the description, as per usual. But yeah, definitely do check this one out. It's fun, and like I said, there are a lot more bandanas, apparently, to come. And that, that is pretty cool. So check it out, have some fun, 
Get all of your settlers a nice uh, death claw. There's the word suddenly blanked on that. Death claw bandana and enjoy yourself. And that's going to be it for today. Hopefully you all have enjoyed and you do come back for the next episode when hopefully we'll be looking at yet another wonderful mod. But until that time, thank you for watching. And as always, have a good one.